Okay, we got a short chapter, Esther chapter 10, but there's a lot of meat in this. And when we look at King Asahurus as a type of God, we look at Mordecai as a type of Jesus Christ. We're taking chapter 10 after Haman's death. We're taking it into the millennium. Chapter 10 never ends. And once the Jews get that land in the millennium through Jesus Christ, and the heavens and earth will flee away, uh, Revelation chapter 20, men will be judged, and we'll get the new heavens, the new earth, and the uh, new Jerusalem. The Jews will get the new earth, and they'll get that for all eternity with all the blessings we've been reading about. So, in the fact is, the millennium may never end for the Jews with a little brief period of no more time. We know time ends between Revelation 19 and 20. And the Jews will get the new earth because that's what God promised Abraham, the earth, the land grant. I don't know what that new earth is going to be like, but we do know without sin. Well, it's got to be joyful, it's got to be wonderful, it's got to be great. Without the devil, the, their enemy. There's no more Haman. There's no more Jews' enemy. There's no more the wicked. There's no more enemies of the Jews. And King Azahar has laid a tribute upon the land. That's a tax. And upon the islands of the sea. Now there's going to be no taxes in the millennium. But let's lay that word to another account of another definition. What about the King God will lay tribute to Jesus Christ for all the eternity. All the millennium. And into the eternity of the new heavens, new earth, and new Jerusalem. Because when we get to glory, when we get to Revelation 21 and 22, it's forever about Jesus Christ. There will be always a tribute to Jesus Christ. Not about what we, not about, about us, nothing about men of the great church history, nothing about the great men of the Bible, but all about Jesus Christ, Old Testament and New Testament. And there's a sea, Revelation 21 and 22, where the throne is. A sea as in crystal. Kind of interesting, isn't it? And all the acts of his power and his might. And the declaration, that's the first time declaration shows up. Of the greatness of Mordecai. It's not a declaration of the United States. This is a greater declaration. And if we were to take that tribute and that declaration of Mordecai, a type of Jesus Christ, the greatest who is ever the greatest, but Jesus Christ. What if a tribute and the declaration is Jesus Christ, the Savior of the church. Jesus Christ, the King and Lord, King of Kings and Lord of Lords of the Jewish nation. As Pilate nailed upon it above his head, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Well, Pilate won't have that inscription. It will be written upon the hearts of the Jewish people. And one day the greatness will be not ascribed to a man, but to the man, Christ Jesus. We're into the king advanced him. God advanced Mordecai. God advanced Jesus. For all that Jesus has done. Are they not written in the book of the Chronicles? Can you not find Jesus Christ in Chronicles 1 and 2? Yes, you can. Now I'm spiritualizing chapter 10. But in the history of Esther chapter 10 is Here's Mordecai, he's been advanced, he, he's in charge, he, he's the prime minister of the land. Where does it say he died? Genesis, last words of Genesis, Joseph died and was buried in a coffin in Egypt. The parable of the uh, prodigal son. There's a party going on. And he brings the son, he gives him the fatted calf, gives him new clothes, a shoe, a ring, and the party goes, and that party never ends. Vanson, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles, the kings in Media and Persia? I wonder if they found those books in archaeology yet. If they did, they probably kind of really hide it. I mean, they find a lot of archaeology. I bet you a lot of it is they say still in museums basements. But the ones that really, really proved the Bible to be true? 
They give us every once in a little nugget. I don't need archaeology, but archaeology helps my faith. For Mordecai the Jew, Jesus Christ the Jew, came unto his brethren, came unto his own, his own received him not. Mordecai the Jew was next unto King Azarus, God the Father, God the Son. A great among the Jews. Man, in that millennium, there's going to be nothing greater to the Jewish person but the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing but, there he is. They're going to, every feast of the Jewish nation, they're going to come and going to be for Jesus. The Bible says the nation, they're going to grab hold of the Jews. Come on, we know God's with you. Bring us to Jesus. Nothing greater than Jesus. And accepted of the multitude of his brethren. <laughs> John chapter 1. In the first advent, Jesus Christ was not received of his brethren. The second advent, boy, they're going to latch on to him. They're going to hold him firm. He's going to destroy the enemies like they wanted. He came on his own. His own received him not, but they will receive him at the second advent. And God will give them new heart. God will cleanse them of their iniquity. And God will set upon them where they should be, where they should have been. Minus their sins and God will remove their iniquity and God will have them not ever to sin again Of the multitude of his brethren seeking the wealth of his people. Well, who's got greater wealth than Jesus Christ? He has it all We talked to someone a Christian the other day just great joyous and talk about wealth and money, you know, we may be poor, but we're rich and What the world values as the gold standard here? We walk on on the street of New Jerusalem. The street of New Jerusalem is gold. That's what God thinks about our money thing. I mean, who cares about gold? You imagine what those pearls are going to look like? Have you ever thought about those great big pearls? I feel sorry for the clams that had to cough them things up. Why had the great big pearls at the gates are open all, all the time? To show the magnificence that God can do. Seeking the wealth of his people. You know, he's going to give them all. He's going to give them fruitful. He's going to give them the rain that they need. He's going to give them the crops. He's going to give them all of the land to give the land has to the Jewish people. And speaking peace. Jesus said, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give it. That peace is of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace. So there's the Holy Spirit. To all his seed. Now look at that moment there. All his seed. Are you telling me Mordecai has produced all the Jews? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Look at Isaiah 53. Look at Isaiah 53. There's Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53. This just came to me. Isaiah 53. and i got to find it. Verse 10. With all my notes here. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. I wonder who that was. He has put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. I wonder who that is. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his day. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his end. There's that seed. That seed is the Jewish seed. The children that will be made right. And then that's it. The book just closes like that. Peace unto his seed. Once the Jews get in that millennium after we get over the great white throne judgment. Perfect peace. Eternal peace. You know, we're going to have no worries and anxieties in glory. They're gone. And that Jew, if he gets to earth, I could be wrong about that, but if he gets that earth, he gets the glorified, uncursed earth that Adam had before he fell. Are you thinking that in the time of Adam before he fell, do you think Adam ever worried about a crop? I don't think so. You ever think there's going to be wars of the Jewish people in the new earth? I don't think so. 
That's all going. Satan is Satan is burning, and the Antichrist is burning, and the false prophets are burning in Lake of Fire. They could never get out. And there's not ever going to be any other evil presence for all eternity. So that, you know, short three verses. How about first verse, King Azarus, God the Father. Verse 2, Mordecai, God the Son. And then the peace, the fruit of the Spirit, God the Holy Spirit. How, how about that? You realize what it's going to be like when us Christians who are saved are in the millennium with Jesus? Those who get the right, I don't know what happens to those who don't get the right get the inheritance, but the inheritance is something you earn. You imagine if all of us together in unity with Jesus, David, that new spirit, the Holy Spirit has been put on the nation. Imagine the entire world with the Holy Spirit and there's nobody fighting against us and there's no world in this no more. I mean, of all possibility, you will find me where the tomatoes are. Let the man pick them back down in there. No rottenness, no worms, no curse. And chapter 10 doesn't really, it doesn't end. There's no death. Mordecai goes on. as Christ. Christ has already died. He's not going to die again for it. He, he suffered and died once. He's not going to get him again. 